Oh, hey, it's me, Gal Level. <laughs> a bunch of random Twitch tips or YouTube tips, depending on what you stream on, depending on the tip, I guess. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be giving you a bunch of tips. Let's start. The very first Twitch is... <laughs> The very first tip is simple. Every platform or services related to said platform will have a blog. I just realized this is in French. They will hold a blog where they give you a bunch of articles with a bunch of information. Now, of course, the main goal of them holding a blog is to kind of, you know, lure you into using their services, but they still give you a bunch of free information. So all you have to do is just read it. You know, you can get a lot of extra information like that. For example, Twitch has a blog where they tell you about new features, new partnerships, new integrations, and stuff like that, or just like news in general in the streaming world. Owned has their own blog. They'll tell you about, you know, where to get cool graphics. It's owned. They sell graphics, right? And they also sponsor this video, uh, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But they also tell you how to donate on Twitch, everything you need to know. Twitch chat logs, everything you need to know. How to become a Twitch affiliate, how to become a Twitch partner and stuff like that. You know, Twitch rates versus Twitch host. This is information that is there that is free. All you have to do is read the articles. Restream, for example, holds a blog where, of course, they're going to tell you how to live stream on with Restream, right? But they'll also tell you how to set up a live streaming studio top six microphones for live streaming in 2021 nine ways you can make money live streaming so the information is here paul soid uh, is a company that makes heart rate well they don't make heart monitors but they do have widgets to display your heart rate on stream they also hold a blog where they tell you uh what updates about their services but also all the cool things you can do for you know spooky streams and all that actually it's most it mostly has to do with with Pulse side here, but there's a lot of good information anyways. Okay, so the next step has to do with Twitch analytics, okay? There's multiple websites that you can use depending on what you're looking for. I'm gonna tell you the three websites that I mostly use. I don't use them that often, but if I need something, I usually go there and then give you more suggestions, right? Twitchstrike.com is a website that is dedicated to tell you what to stream and when to stream it for the optimal hours in order to get more viewers. For example, uh, they kind of changed their website now where there's a thing where you can say, hey, I stream in English, I have 10 viewers average, you click go, and it will tell you, hey, this is where you're going to be in the list of that category if you stream with your audience. And then you can click more info. And then that page, they will tell you the heat map of said game. So for Rocket League, is it Rocket League? Yes, Rocket League. Here are the times where there's more uh, channels streaming the game and there's more viewers watching the game. And then you can make a like an informed decision on when you would like to stream. Uh, why do I speak like that? Anyways, uh, that's twitchstrike.com. And then I use Twitch metrics, for example, when someone is like, oh, Oh, someone is bragging about their numbers, for example, <laughs> I usually go link them up on Twitch Strike to see if they're view botting or something like that before I engage with them. A lot of people will, will tell me stuff that, you know, doesn't correlate with the data. The data doesn't lie. It's not that advanced. You don't get that much data, but it's pretty much important to, to know that you have access to that data. So no one will fool you. OK, another website that I use is Social Blade. And the cool thing with Social Blade is that it gives you information on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, t Twitter, TikTok, you, all of that. Right. But for Twitch, for example, you can type and it gives you a little bit of analytics. It gives you a ranking like B minus. Look at me. I'm B minus. And it, tell, it gives you stats per day. It gives you a little graph here. Pretty important. I mostly use that one for YouTube because it does future projections. So if we go to my YouTube, see it found me here. You can click on future. Well, it gives you all the stats too, but it also gives you future projection right there. And it basically guesses how, where your channel will be in the future. It always guesses wrong, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's that's the options that you have. Okay, now I briefly mentioned that this video was sponsored by Owned. I'm going to tell you quickly what's going on with Owned and I'm not going to do like an ad break or anything. So Owned is the website you go to get every customization possible for your channel, your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel. Or overlays, emotes, Twitch badges, Twitch sub badges, wait, same thing. Oh, bit badges, <laughs> sub badges, stream deck icons and all that. But what is special about it right now is that you can get animated emotes. So you go to sub emotes and badges, Twitch sub emotes, and you'll see all of those with the purple thing. They're all animated. You like, uh, um, what is that? A hamster? Let's click on it and let's see what it looks like. Boom. Animated hamster emotes. Oh, I actually like the, that little love one. Anyway, so that is one thing. But the other thing is that Own Pro also uh, sponsors this. Well, not really. I'm supposed to do one or the other, but I want to give you something special. So Own Pro is a service that pairs up with your OBS studio and gives you everything you need. Stream labels, alerts, all of that, right? Your donation page. But they also give you access to all of the own overlays. So 
Anytime you want to change overlay, you can just do it. The main service is free, but of course there's a premium version. The good news about the premium version is that you get 50% off if you use my code Gale. So G-A-E-L, and you're going to get access to the Twitch chat bot. You're going to get like one click install overlays. You're also getting, um, what's it called? What's it called? Copyright free music. So very important. Anyways, that's it. That was the sponsor. Uh, let's move on. Speech chat is something that I mentioned multiple times. It's how you get TTS for your chat. It's just a website you open up uh, Chrome you open up like a tab and then you just log in you click on platform top right here you click on Twitch in order to log in and then boom it will read your stuff out loud when you go to speech chat you can control panel and in voice you can choose a bunch of voices and the cool thing the extra cool thing is that <laughs> it try to gives everyone a personality so everyone will have a different tone and speed and voice really not really voice it's still it's the same voice but yeah some people will have like a high pitch some people will have a low pitch di different speed you get it I mentioned it before so I'm not gonna stay on it too much let's talk about twitch countdowns for your starting soon screen uh twitchcountdown.com for example you, you should just google twitch countdown is the easiest one really let me go back to the main thing okay this is the main page you click create overlay unless you want to do something that goes down to a specific date you click click overlay here you wait a couple seconds you type your title so this can be start spring soon son start zing son and then you're like oh 10 minutes boom it created it that's it you get your timer you can put a color if you want very simple and then you click on that little blurred part because that's going to be your widget url you just added to your obs studio as a browser source and then boom you got a timer i don't use this one it's too simple your boy gotta be fancy i use this one from ecard.centermedia.org <laughs> i will link it in the description because they have fancier timers look at that Th what is that let's just click on it they're animated they're fancy they look good you can customize them even more oh it just it just uh it explodes when it reaches the end is that what's going on so you can set the time in minutes for example um you can put the text size the colors the font everything you can even add a sound for when it reaches the end let's let's see what it does when it reaches the end two one zero hey it look at that look isn't that beautiful boom so this is what i use when i need a timer which i rarely do to be honest and then there's one called my stream timer which i believe is a obs plugin that you can add to obs i believe ebos vox made a video about it basically there's a ton of options when it comes to timers if you want something that is installed and integrated to obs you can get that too but i just like doing my little browser source things there's the link for the browser source for the animated ones by the way they are the best looking ones that reminds me this is the part of the video that improvise for now from now on i just thought about this part a little bit earlier um what was i saying oh polls polls when it comes to polls um browser source now of course twitch has their own poll system where you can just type a uh, poll and launch a poll i don't know if it's gonna work while i'm offline but you basically go to your own chat you type slash poll and then it's supposed to give you options there you go you can put the question hey uh am i gonna win this game yes no boom people can vote using bits if they want to like additional uh, um votes basically or they can vote using channel points which is pretty cool you should use this but if you wanted to show on stream and look cool you might want to use something else and uh this is something i mentioned in another video but i forgot which website that i that i use oh it is this one it is poll.ma.pe and in this case you can just connect with twitch and then just add everything there you go again create the poll options uh, the question am i the best streamer options are yes press enter and then yes again okay cool enter nice you can already start the poll like that and actually brings a wait what and pick a theme at the bottom here uh this is a cool looking theme right there uh where do i find the the the, the widget again click this overlay do not share there you go if i open it up basically this is what you're gonna have in your chat so i can type yes and boom that counts if someone just types it in chat so no worries about you know commands and using a bot or using the twitch thing it's a cool way of doing polls it looks good all right plus you have a bunch of options if you want to change uh, the colors and stuff like that it's all gucci look at that super fast all right let's talk about chat if you want your chat to look good technically all you have to type is twitch chat i'm basically teaching you how to google stuff twitch chat custom css for example if you want to customize your chat there's articles about it that basically teach you the whole custom css if you don't want to customize like if you don't want to code or anything you can just copy paste this code in your custom css part whether you're using stream elements stream labs or even owned it's actually made by uh, noobcat which i follow and she's awesome another one that is uh right here 
your custom Twitch chat overlay, tmi.js, uh, right there, it shows you what the chat actually looks like. See, if someone is typing, this is what it will look like. So you can just copy the CSS here again, copy, paste, and then boom. You can also customize it right here before copying it and placing it in your stuff. All right, let's close <laughs> all those tabs. Let's talk about giveaways. Now, my favorite method of doing giveaways is using Nightbot and asking people to, to join, asking people to <laughs> guess a number between zero and 100. That is a big thin code from Nightbot. If you go to Nightbot, your Nightbot is already working on your channel. You click on giveaways, boom, you go to random number here. There it is. So it's here and I can click roll it. There's no one here, so it's not going to work. I can roll it. Can I roll it? No, no, no one can. No one is eligible. So you need a little bit of activity and then you can do this. And then Nightbot will be like, hey, the, the giveaway started, pick a number. And then Nightbot will come up with a number. All right. That's one way of doing it. There's also something called Mosh giveaways. Uh, I don't remember what it was again. Mosh giveaway where it's a little software. King of the Pit. There we go. King of the Pit by Pixel Maniacs. And it's basically a little software where people will join the giveaway and then it will represent them by 3D characters that will be moshing together. And whoever the last man standing basically wins the giveaway. Let me try to show you what it looks like. So the screen is like that. Like I downloaded it and I opened it as a, as a software, but you can also get it from Steam. And as you can see, people in their chat are typing then. So it's getting people in the giveaway giveaway and there they are and then they'll be able to just start the mash at the mosh at some point or it's kind of mash to be honest and um you can throw bottles like chat can type exclamation mark bottles to throw bottles to take each other down but there's no there's not much control it's just complete chaos until someone is left standing there you go oh my god i love it it's it's like super entertaining and it makes it a little like a little cooler way of doing a giveaway basically I'm going to skip. There you go. A couple of you <laughs> until boom. OK, it gets bumps out and someone wins. There you go. All right. Talking about things that are interactive. Uh, I have my favorite game called Acted Out XL. And in my opinion, it's kind of like one of the best uh, interactive games. This game is a game of charades. So it's a game that is connected to your Twitch chat. And all you have to do is basically pick a subject that they won't see. They do it like through uh, if you do game capture, for example, it opens it in a new tab. So chat cannot see it. You pick a subject and then you describe the subject or you draw the subject or you act the subject or you sing the subjects. There's uh, movies, categories like movies, shows, there's uh, music, there's books, there's theater. There's a bunch of them and you can add your own custom stuff. So it's really cool. There's a timer and whoever wins basically will appear on screen and be on a leaderboard. So when I do giveaways, for example, I can do this and tell people, hey, the first that gets to uh, 2000 points is going to win whatever I'm giving away. Right. And the cool thing is the faster they, they find out what you're talking about or what you're singing, what you're right, what you're drawing and all that, um, the more points they get. So very interesting stuff is acted out. Of course, we have to talk about games like words on stream. So WOS.GG, that is the classic. Hey, um, I put this on my screen as a live streamer. All you have to do is boom, log in with your Twitch, click OK. Let me load up my Twitch on the side at the same time. Yeah, I just popped out my chat so you can see. So this is words on stream. I'm just going to click start here. Oh, my God, that's loud. And then from there, and there's actually a code for your browser source that you can put on your stream or you can just do a display capture. It also works. The link is right there if you click on uh, settings. But here, if you type anything in, in chat and I need to find out, it's a it's a letter mosh game. You just need to create words using those letters. And let's see if I can create anything. Um, Boom, for example, rips is a word it will show here. The person who just found that is actually locked for a couple of rounds. So it lets everyone in chat have a chance at getting the new stuff. It's, it's really cool. It's a really, really cool. I think pros probably, does that work? Yes, pros works. Uh, spin probably. No, spin doesn't work. Oh, I'm still locked, I guess. <laughs> but someone else should be able to, to do this until it unlocks, as you can see on screen. Right now I'm unlocked, so I can put this. Okay. You get the point. This is words on stream. There's something called Gartic on stream. Uh, there's also something called Gartic on phone, but I've never played that. And apparently you need to be like a group of people. But Gartic on stream is something similar, except um, the AI will be drawing stuff, I believe. And then chat needs to guess what is being uh, drawn. So authorize with your Twitch channel. So it's lo so it's basically logged into your chat. And here you're going to click start and let's see what's going on. OK, so right now there's some drawings being drawn, as I said, 
And um, yeah, you got to guess. I believe I see a fish bottom right. Is that a whale? Not a whale. But the drawing sucks and it's not the best. It's really not the best thing. Then the igloo. Boom, I found an igloo, for example. Envelope. Weird. Is that a rabbit up top? A needle. Pin. I found pin. You get the point. All right. But my favorite, my favorite out of all is one that is called, and I forgot what it's called. Gartic Show. That's what it's called. <laughs> Gartic Show. No, Gartic Dot Show. This one is different from the other ones because you have to draw. So the streamer is the host of the show. You need to draw and then Twitch chat will guess what you're drawing. Of course, they will give you prompts and they will tell you also. So what, give me that in English, please. They will tell you where to place your webcam in order to block the actual prompts that you're going to pick. And then you're good. So bottom left here, you see it's like place your camera here. That's because as soon as we launch it, this is where you can choose from between a crow or a lodge, right? So you put your, your camera here so chat can't see. And then you begin to draw a uh, crow. <laughs> There's like a little sound. You can't hear it right now. but And then you have all of those. Well, you can't see it, but you have all of those uh, things that you can use. You can draw super thin or you can draw super thick colors there's a paint bucket tool that you can use so you're very 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 able <laughs> you're very very able to draw uh, amazing stuff i usually use my tablet when i'm doing it and uh, it's super fun it's really really fun the idea that you are the host that, that's what i like about this one in particular and you can also choose your own subjects for example as you can see here there's system words you just click here hello there you go. And then you can put custom words. You can pick the round timing. So 90 seconds to 30 seconds. And then how many rounds you want before they show like the dashboard, the dashboard, the leaderboard. OK, uh, another cool one that is like so much fun at first looking like that. I was like, oh, I was a little skeptical, but I played it on Univt's channel. So twitch.tv slash Univt. Definitely go check her out. She's awesome. We played this. So basically the chat joins you. It creates a character and it gives you random stats. You have a character that has a level that has uh, immunity against certain stuff that has weaknesses. Basically, the streamer can choose who fights the boss or, or the enemies that you guys are fighting one by one. It's like a, a turn based role playing game, I guess, with a lot of randomly generated stuff it's it's super super fun a feature that i love about it is that you can talk basically when the streamer pulls you up and you're in chat you can say something that will appear in the bubble before you go fight <laughs> or after you fought it's it, it's really cool a lot of fun i know it doesn't look like much and trust me i'm someone who doesn't play games that don't look good this one is super super duper fun especially if the streamer is fun so go check out this game and also go check out yuna vt another cool service is uh, streamladder.com this one allows you to basically take your twitch clips and transform them and format them into this portrait mode for reels youtube shorts or, or tiktoks for example and the cool thing that i see they added here is not only you can get a local file you know you click and then it finds something or you can also get them from twitch and all you have to do is enter your stream name I thought it was going to ask me for a link. I've never done this particular one before. And it actually pulls up your Twitch clips. This is super interesting. And you can see me playing a uh, Gartic show right there. Let's click on this. For example, let's click on this. Once it loads up this, you have different formats that you have access to. To be fair, uh, if you're only using the free version, there is a premium version. Um, if you're only using the free, you have access to this and you have access to that and also that. We're going to choose this one because we want our webcam to be in there. If you know about other tools that are free that allows you to really do this as easily, uh, let me know. I personally, when I do this, when you see me post those like that, I do them on my phone. I use InShot and uh, yeah, there's like a picture in picture mode and it's super easy to use. So right now it's telling me step one, select the area where your face cam is. Let's do this and let's pick my face cam. And as you can see, it's blocked like it's locked on that format or maybe extra options. Nice. OK. Four thirds. All right. But there's also free form, which I'm not against. Let's do this. Oh, I just realized you guys can't see that much. There you go. And then you can click accept. Nice. And this is where you pick uh, the gameplay. And once again, you have the same option. 16 by nine. Wait, wait, what? Accept. OK, now it's gameplay. This has to be free for more. OK, this option apparently is only for the face cam. That was weird. OK, just click accept, I guess. Or can I modify this? No, you can't modify the actual gameplay, but that's OK. Usually you don't want your face to show on both of those. So you'll do something like that. And there you go. <laughs> 
my face is huge this is not great this is not great i wouldn't i wouldn't use it like i wouldn't do it like that but hey you can output in uh 720p 60 fps or 1080p 60 fps is that free and then click finish 1080p 60 fps no that's not free uh 720p that's free okay you can also move the face cam to the bottom if you wanted to I think that's maybe that's better. It doesn't matter. Finish. All right. So if you're in a rut and you want to do this without too much effort, you can use this. I still feel like it's not the best option because it's like, you know, all the options are not free and you will probably do a better job if you use InShot on your phone. Also, you can download your Twitch clips on your phone. I'm going to show you how to do that. Usually I download them after I stream on my PC and then I send them to my phone, but you can go to clipper.xyz. So that's clipper without the e dot xyz and here you can just drop the link to any twitch clips boom download it so you can do it from your phone you open chrome on your phone or whatever browser you're using you go to clipper.xyz you go to twitch maybe from the app copy the link drop it boom download and there you go if you did it from your if you did that from streamladder uh from your phone you can also immediately send it to tiktok get a qr code or just download it for example all right of course if you watch my <laughs> recent videos i've been doing a lot of work on photo p or photo pia as i like to call it where it's basically photoshop for free and you can make anything so if you watch my videos or if you don't watch my videos it doesn't matter you can create your own overlays your banners your sponsor banners your panels your offline image all of that here as if it was photoshop it has the exact same tools as photoshop if not more to be honest so yeah photopia.com usually you will get ads but they added me to their thank you by the way for that they added me to their team account so i don't uh i don't have ads but you can also pay to not get ads and it's like single pay for a limited amount of days without ads so uh but yeah but like even with the ads it's totally usable imagine photoshop with just an extra panel with ads use it when people tell you stuff like i don't know photoshop or I you can watch photoshop tutorials and then learn how to use photopia like that okay another cool thing is canva is another thing that people use to create their overlays a lot of people have amazing looking overlays just using canva and it's uh, practically free you can have the app so you can make your overlays on your phone if you wanted to but you can type anything you can type uh, twitch maybe is there anything about twitch look at that well mine is in french right now but this basically banner emote logo uh paneled overlays and there's like pre-made templates right look at that look at that couple clicks and then uh i'm in there i'm in there okay the the ones are maybe some are like a little basic but hey this is free look at that and you can create them you can change them you can add more stuff all of that which is really cool my favorite to be honest and i'm not just saying that because i'm affiliated with them is placeit.net the reason why i'm saying that is because they have the most like more options than anyone else pretty much and right now there's a 50 percent off so it's not free, but 50% off right now for Thanksgiving, for Cyber Monday, if you will. And uh, this one, you can literally type anything. You know those gaming logos, for example? I know you guys like gaming logos. Let's go. Highlight animated logos. The thing is, gaming logos are easy to come by. You, you pay someone $10 on Fiverr, and then they'll actually come to place it and then create one from scratch <laughs> gaming logos are something that a lot of people use you'll pay someone from from fiverr they'll come to place it on their account and then they'll make it for you the thing that is hard to get is animated ones finding someone that can animate them you need someone that is a graphic designer an illustrator and also a motion designer very rare so diamond troopers right here let's say that we like that let's click on it and uh let's let's call it guy level it's not diamond troopers anymore it's guy level okay so there it is boom diamond troopers and a little little shimmy in there okay let's turn this into gal uh level boom it's gonna load up let's change the colors you know color scheme you need to keep that intact boom and um yeah that's it that's all the work that i'm gonna do it even comes with music if you want to add that so nice let's do this and let's click let's update it all right it's updated uh let's just click here boom gal level now okay and this is one just quick example i chose the colors i changed the name took me five seconds and i can choose between all of those logos that they have there's there's a ton of them there's so many of them and that's just the animated logo part like there's designs there's mock-ups like if you have merch for example you would like to see your design on a person and you would like to advertise it you can go to apparel for example if you're creating custom face masks sport bras for example uh, sweatshirts t-shirts videos you can upload your own like it's 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 full of everything you need twitch screens animated logos uh youtube videos intro slideshows social media instagram posts facebook covers all of it all right now if you're watching this after cyber monday after this deal is off 
don't worry i got you there will still be 15 percent off in the description because i'll put a link with my special special little link that will give you 15 percent off so check it out and then i guess my last tip will be pretzel rocks when it comes to copyright free music and different genres of music i've been listening to metal a lot lately for example right now they have a special black friday special 40 percent off uh, pretzel premium but if you don't have premium you still have access to a bunch of categories and uh, boom it started updating with no warnings okay i guess that's a good look on how fast it updates i guess <laughs> but okay so if we go to stations for example this is how many stations you have so what we see up top is all the channels that are unlocked for free for example so classical edm happy holidays hype bangers jazz lo-fi which is very important metal super important punk techno uh, the rest is locked but I'm definitely going to get premium very, very soon. One of my favorite ones was Disco that has 200 tracks. But the thing is, for example, in classical, they have 600 tracks of classical music, right? If your thing is uh, jazz, for example, there's 600 tracks. There's 579 tracks for Happy Holidays. Uh, this is why I think Pretzel is one of the best options out there. It's just the, the number of songs with the number of categories. You like chiptune, boom, 700 tracks, right? Of course, there's just like 100 tracks in Polka, but... You know, I, I think they do it by uh, by request. <laughs> How many people are listening to ska, for example? <laughs> but still, there's still 143 tracks of ska. I'm totally going to be playing ska on my next stream. But yeah, I think that was it. I was trying to rush this video and I think I did well, even though I've been recording for 43 minutes, but you won't see 43 minutes because I'm going to edit it down. If you're looking for some dope overlays, go to gumroad.com slash get level. A bunch of them are free. And what else? Uh, follow me on Twitch. Go check out my Twitch. Also, I'm doing a charity event like tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> 26th i don't know when i'm gonna post this video so anyways uh check out my twitch twitch.tv slash get level check me out on social media mostly twitter i've been doing a lot of giveaways uh during the charity stream there's gonna be a lot of giveaways including a streamer pack where i'm giving you webcam uh mic mic arm rgb lights and also a face light and also a desk mount on top of that i don't know if you've been keeping up but voice mod decided to give us five codes for voice mod for one month of free voice mod premium so you can use all like 99 100 110 voices that they have in voice mod also uh the photo p uh, also give me a bunch of codes for 30 days without ads i'm gonna be giving those away and then also 512 audio decided to give you guys two of their most like of their best microphones so watch out for that too so much going on chat yes i called you chat too i love you so much thank you so much recently got my uh 100 subscriber plaque i can't speak and um yeah thank you thank you i wanted to take this time and, and thank you guys i love you okay now go out there make me proud Guy level, Audi. <laughs>